Hi guys, it's Paul at Loft 47 and today we're going to look at deductions on a deal. So once you've entered your allocations and you've allocated the total commission to each agent on a deal, you can then come into the deductions page. The deductions page is where your agent fee plans that you set up at the beginning when you first created uh, your Loft account. Loft will have helped you during the setup, our onboarding team will have generated all of those fees. They will create the deductions. For example, if you have 70, 30 split, 60, 40 splits, you have franchise fees, anything that you have, Loft will create those fees for you. Those fees are then applied to the agent's profile. So we can see on this page here, Margaret, one of our agents, on her profile, she has an office split and she has a franchise fee. So every deal Margaret works on, there will be an office split, there will be a franchise fee. Now, if we wanted to add additional deductions on this deal, we could go ahead and select any fee from the uh, brokerage. So these are all the fees we have for this brokerage. You know, we could go ahead, for example, and we could add a, let's say, charity fee so this is a charity fee it's a cmn fee we can go ahead and add that on the fly so remember there's two sets of fees you've got profile deductions which always have profile deduction below and then you've got the fees that you can just add on the fly such as a cmn charity fee now you can see here it's come through as zero but you can go ahead and change any of these overrides so if i wanted to give or this agent, Margaret, wanted to give $25 to charity on this deal. You can go ahead and enter $25. Hit the update button. You always have to hit the green update button to lock those changes in. Same for the office split. You can see here, Margaret's office split to the brokerage uh, are going to be taking 60-40, but also part of 70-30 as well, because... It's showing like this with the comma because Margaret's plan is actually at the point of overlapping at the moment. So she has different levels. She has a 60-40 level up to a certain amount and then it changes to a 70-30 level. So this deal is actually going to take her from the 60-40 range to the 70-30 range. But Loft, being very clever, has worked out all of that. So there's no math for you to do the system has worked out the exact amount that needs to be taken in both of these ranges. And then you can see here, there's a franchise fee for 1%. That's uh, $70. That's also gonna be taken from the paycheck. So once you've reviewed these and they're all correct, you can then move on. If you do need to change them, like I say, you've got the override buttons. You can adjust the amounts if you need to. But once you're happy, you can move down. You'll see here our second agent, David, David has an office split on his profile, $1,200. It's a 60-40 split, that's coming off as well. So very easy to add the allocations. There's also an area here you'll see that it looks like a it's a clickable option, accounts receivable balance. Now this is important. You can see David doesn't have an accounts receivable balance, but if I scroll up to Margaret again, Margaret does have an accounts receivable balance of 30 75 so that means margaret has outstanding invoices over in the zero accounting platform she owes the brokerage 30 75 so if you wanted to take some of that uh, money from this particular paycheck from this deal you can go to the add new button and you can scroll down here and you can click on the agent office bill so Loft will create a fee and we call it a credit type fee. We can name it however you want it to be named. It could be agent invoice credit. It could be, you know, accounts receivable fee. Whatever you want it to be named, Loft can set that up for you when we first get you working in the system. But once we add the accounts receivable type fee, you can see here agent office bill. So if I wanted to take, you know, let's say this is for March, April, fees 
I can say, well, we're going to take back, you know, the agent owes us 30.75. We're not going to take the whole amount back because we haven't got the whole amount, but we're going to take a thousand dollars from the agent. I'll hit the update button to lock that in. And the system is then going to update the deductions, update the total amount that we're taking from the agent's uh, paycheck. So you can see there now there's a thousand dollars that we're taking. So now down at the bottom here, there's a full breakout of the commission, $7,000 to Margaret. There's no other income on the deal. There's deductions of 34.6730, which is the total of what we just looked at above. And Margaret will be taking home 35.3270. And David, our second agent on this deal, 3,000 in commission, no other income, 1,200 by way of deduction. Remember, he has that 60-40 uh, split. No tax for this brokerage. And then he's taking home $1,800 on the deal. And then this is our other income. There is other income on the deal to the brokerage that's dealt with back in the allocations page. Go ahead and look at the allocations video if you're unsure what that is. Well, there we go, guys. That's the deductions. Your agent fee plans they will pull across from an agent's profile. Remember, you need to go into the brokerage menu, into an agent's profile, and add their fee plans to their profile if you want them to pull through onto a deal and look like this. So that's how you deal with deductions. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care.